Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're actually helping somebody with their marketing project. Uh, we're going to be talking about the coin business, uh, why YouTube videos are important, why the website is important. Um, so many things for you guys to benefit from if you guys listen to the whole thing. Um, and we are so uh, happy that Kevin wanted to include us in his project uh, before the year ended. But without further ado, let's get into today's episode. Yeah, that's that should be it right there. All right, nice. Awesome sauce. Let's bring up the uh, questions. So this is like a research project for your marketing class, or what is it for mainly? So this is for independent research, and basically we were getting uh, we were able to just choose a topic of our own, and our entire year was focused around that topic. That's pretty so, good. Yeah. So I chose marketing, and I wanted to tie it in with numismatics because that's what I've been doing on the side. Uh, it's kind of like your uh, your side hustle kind of thing. Yeah, basically. Cool, man. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you think uh, using Instagram and YouTube is a viable form of marketing for your business? Well, Kevin, I think that's a great question. Um, so, when we started uh, back in early this year selling coins on Instagram, um, it was viable for the most part. So, say like uh, we ended up having uh, not as high of capital. Um, we wanted to work with people closely. And um, overall, it was a great strategy um, to begin our coin business. But as time kind of progressed, uh, we were trying to ask ourselves, how can we reach more people? How can we make sure that they receive uh, more products? Um, how can we um, make a channel almost where people can come and learn things, but also get coins for their collection? So Instagram was kind of the, the first fold of saying, if you're starting your own company, um, for me, it was good because I was selling products rather than selling a service. So when you're kind of that service minded industry, it's, you know, you're, you're making your Instagram for that service for uh, social media. And then you're also kind of doing in-person advertising and stuff. Um, but for us, it was, it was like, I would post a coin and I would say, this is the price. And then I'd have somebody reach out. And so for us after a while, it, you know, it took a, almost all day because I would be writing somebody back and forth, you know, what payment would you like? Um, how would you like me to ship it? Um, they would ask extra questions, um, but YouTube has kind of opened us up towards the end of the year because um, basically we create content that people enjoy um, or people learn from. So say if I drive all the way from Houston, which is where I am, to Tennessee, um, I would kind of document that. I would document going to a show. Um, I would document uh, buying a table at the show, um, give people kind of that tangible information on how to make maybe their coin business better or um, how, how they can start to work with dealers and, and make deals. Um, and so we started doing that. And then we also started posting what coins we got at those shows. And then people started asking, Hey, do you have a website? Um, do you, uh, you know, can you send stuff to my door and, um, the website and, uh, YouTube has kind of been better for us because I could spend about, you know, I could spend about six or seven hours working on a video, editing a video, uh, completing the video. And then I, all I have to do is upload all that new inventory to our website. Um, and people just go there and flock there, check many times a day. And we don't really have to uh, kind of work on the finite uh, questions each person has. We just get them all answered for them when they go to our website. So um, just yesterday alone, I think we did uh, 12 orders on our website and we did over uh, $3,200 in sales. And that was just, and I didn't even have to lift a finger. Like yesterday I was off um, building out a cargo container for our podcast that's coming up. So like, you know, w once you start to implement those business practices with marketing involved, I think that uh, it's really helped us, especially with starting out with Instagram and then kind of working on our YouTube channel. And so those have been building pretty steadily, but they also, you know, they both have their kind of, uh, their day in the sun. And now we use more, mainly Instagram for uh, connecting with sellers, buying more from them, um, and then just expanding our inventory. But uh, both great things uh, for your your uh, your business if you're wanting to start one, or you know anybody in your class. Hello, everybody. Wanted to stop this video today um, to show you one of the coins that we picked up this year. Uh, this is a 1925 S uh, Cali commemorative. Not many of these were made, and there are very few with color. Uh, we're actually keeping this one for the set. We might send it in for an upgrade. But thank you guys for taking a look at this Cali. Let's get back to the video. 
So I guess then that begs the question. Um, so your marketing strategy is focused off of like social media and getting a, a higher reach and more customer base. But have you looked into possibly using paid advertisements like Facebook or Google ads? Uh, we've, we've looked into that. Um, and for us right now, we haven't, we haven't really, uh, progressed into Google ads and, uh, marketing. Um, the best way that we've actually done, um, in terms of marketing ourselves is that, uh, just say like, you know, for our capital, where we are right now, we can't really, uh, you know, we can't really spend, um, a ton of money in, uh, using different ads and stuff. And so what we've just started doing with, with kind of the YouTube videos is showing my perspective, who I am, um, how I am as a person, my characteristics. Um, also, like I said, implementing all the, the different types of coin stuff. And so, uh, you know, and giving those, giving people actually uh, a benefit to watching your video. And when you do all those things, you're really connecting the product and you're connecting that, that piece of content together. So people end up saying, you know, this guy's a good guy. Uh, he works hard. Uh, he gives me information about coins that, that many people don't. Um, he also uh, gives me something to watch on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, which I really enjoy. And then at the end of the day, they end up saying, you know what, how can I bless this person? How can I benefit this person? And so um, that's, that's been almost kind of our marketing side um, of things, just because, um, you know, people, people want information in numismatics. And when you start to give it to them, or you start to create, uh, like, what, what's something that uh, I was listening to yesterday, which kind of hit home for me is when uh, basically Gary Vee, um, someone that I listen to a lot, he said that, you know, basically you're just trying to, uh, you know, work, work on yourself and show people who you are as a person um, and give them information that they can actually uh, understand, keep and help benefit them. If you create the content aimed near, uh, aim mainly at them learning something, and you giving them something, um, you know, the sales and everything else will just come with it. You know, you just got to be uh, able to uh, show up at the right time, help anybody that you can when they need it. And things like that has, has really helped us a lot. It's just mainly a giving focus type of uh, business in terms of our time, uh, you know, our talent and, and most of our energy. Hey guys, are you enjoying today's video? If you are, hit that like button down below. Uh, what are you guys learning from today's video? Make sure you comment that as well. Uh, we have, uh, you know, just so many things going on, but we really do value your perspective, value your insight. Um, and if you guys are new to our channel, uh, we upload three times a week. So make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell as well so you're notified when we upload. But let's get back to the episode. Let's hear from more from Kevin. And uh, let's give you guys some more insight. I see. So... Your marketing strategy right now is more um, organically growth based, where you're just growing off of uh, word of mouth and the, basically the spreading of your content itself. Now, I think that's, that's really good because you're giving people valuable experience that they wouldn't be able to get otherwise through your YouTube videos. Yeah, because, uh, well, I mean, we, we actually, you know, we thought about doing uh, paid promotions and stuff like that. Um, but when we started to think about it um, and we saw a lot of the numismatic ads, um, they were ma mainly just in somebody's face, right? Like I would see uh, a coin from, uh, you know, a coin ad from my buddy uh, at US Coin and Jewelry. Um, his name's Kenny Jr. He's a good guy. Uh, they work really hard. But, you know, I would see, you know, go to, going down eBay or something, I would see like uh, US Coin and Jewelry, buy from them, right? Or uh, their eBay would pop up first when they're trying to sell something. You know that was all good and you know that was all good and dandy for them um but for me i was like what if we can reroute this what if we can do it a different way where it's like they uh, the coins that weren't the first initial thought in their mind you know or you know in terms of being wanting to buy them instead they were just saying let me go learn about coins let me go find someone that enjoys coins as well and then maybe we can work together that's kind of was my thought because you know if i just sometimes when people throw out ads they just throw out an ad and say, sell me your coins, right? Instead of saying, this is who I am, this is what I like to do, um, this is what we both enjoy, sell me your coins, right? It's it's just a different approach that I think, um, like, I, like you were saying, organic reach um, provides that a lot more than just paying to be in someone's face, if that makes sense. Up next, we wanted to show you guys uh, a 1935 D over D that we actually bought um, and, and exchanged uh, with a friend. 
Um, this coin was beautiful in hand, a lot better than the true views actually showed it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this coin. Um, this is another one from my personal collection, but let's get back to the interview. Mm, yeah. So how do you think that your marketing strategy has helped you and in, uh, in your business interests? Well, marketing, uh, basically how it's helped us in our business interests is that um, uh, when someone actually attaches themselves to a piece of content that we have, um, like say if they were looking up uh, a coin show or something else, um, uh, we, we go back to the thing where they start to understand who we are as people. And then um, I out, the way I kind of retain that business is basically including incentives for the end customer. So uh, maybe I would send them silver, or maybe I would send them a thank you note, or maybe I would send them um, a coupon cone that they can use for free shipping. Um, uh, kind of to uh, expand, expand the reach for them, because basically what would happen on my website is that I would, uh, they would buy something from me, they would trust me enough to send me their money, and then what I would do is I would just say, hey, you know, I'd, I basically would do a whole handwritten thing for the holiday season saying, uh, thank you for, for, for investing in us, this is a part of our story, this is who we are, uh, we like to make uh, YouTube videos, but we also like to grow your collection, um, and so basically how we, and then what would happen after that, once we give them uh, that paper, um, we give them some goodies along with their order. Um, we also reach out to them independently sometimes and say thank you for, for being you. Thank you for uh, giving us uh, your time. Um, all those things really have co combinated into actually many orders. Um, I know a guy, I'm a shout out to Thomas, if Thomas is watching. Thomas has spent like, I would say, seven or $8,000 in the past uh, month and a half on our website. And it's really just been understanding who he is as, is as a person um, and also just giving him things along the way. Like, you know, uh, you know, someone that wants to invest that much money in um, in terms of their collection with you. Um, that's kind of helped us um, ask ourselves, what can we do for that individual when they, um, you know, when they want to spend time watching our videos, want to spend time with, um, you know, giving, giving us uh, their money for some coins. I think that um, the way that it's really helped us in our business is trying to say, who is that individual and how can we, uh, how can we help them? How can we benefit them? Um, and how can we retain them as, as customers? We don't buy too many Prussia coins or German coins or world coins in general. Um, but we actually made a few exceptions this year for a few Prussia coins that we like. Um, and they're, I don't know, the, the design is so intricate. Um, and the toning was actually nice on this coin as well. Um, here are a few images of that coin, um, and we were just so blessed to have something like this. Um, we didn't buy it for too much, and uh, the eye appeal was just insane on it. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this coin. Let's get back to the episode. So it's adding that extra layer of, uh, of personal feeling and connection with, uh, with the Akusha Collectibles company. Yeah, and, and people also message us like on the, uh, the selling side too. So say Thomas buys a lot of stuff for me, and then Thomas says... Um, hey Drew, um, there's a part of my collection I'm just not happy with. Or I got I, I started working with a guy uh, on YouTube. Uh, he started making videos with me about the same time. Um, and he just said, "Hey Drew, I'm I'm done with my collection, and you were the first person I thought of, and you're always a stand-up guy." And so it's kind of that it's kind of like a two-way street there. So then it ends up being you know I I ended up buying about thirteen thousand dollars worth of uh, numismatics in the past week and a half from one gentleman because he said. You know you're you're a good guy and i know that you're going to treat people well and i know you're going to find a new home for them so um all those things uh yeah they they've really helped us on kind of both sides because you know when you're running a coin coin business you're selling so much right but you also have to have that blood flow of getting that back in right so you have to find coins that people want to sell people that they trust sending to you and so um yeah when you're the, the thing, biggest takeaway that people should understand um, is that focus on what you enjoy doing in a business and find others that like to uh, do other parts of your business. So say like you have a brother or sister that's involved that likes marketing, you like doing coins or you like doing something that, that makes you happy. Try to involve people as a team because um, you know they'll, they'll find ways to help improve your business 
um, and help kind of giving you new ideas. Like my brother's helped me a lot kind of uh, reaching uh, the customers because he would say, hey, what if we do this? Or, hey, what if we do that? Um, so there's a lot of benefits to, um, you know, you enjoying what you're doing. And that's kind of what we, why we're doing this is because we just enjoy making videos. And then we also enjoy numismatics and it ended up making a good pair, thankfully. This is the crown jewel. This crown jewel or this end of roll toner that I ended up getting into numismatics uh, for because I liked it so much um, is actually off the cack right now. Didn't cack, but um, it's just one of my most uh, prized uh, things from uh, the coin business. I'm so uh, happy and excited to uh, be able to own this coin. I've been offered crazy money for it, but it's just something that I can't let go. But hope you guys enjoy this coin and uh, yeah. And that's great because if your job is something that you really like, it's not really a job at that point. Yeah, uh, well, you know, most people, what, what I kind of, when I, when I started out doing coins, um, I basically had like 1200 bucks or something for my grandmother's, uh, you, know, you know, actually for a graduation ring. It was like my junior year of college. Um, and basically my mom was like, you can have uh, the ring or you can uh, go spend it on what you want. And so I was at my grandmother's house and she said, I have this old coin collection and yada, yada, yada. And so I was like, I looked through it and I said, man, I, I enjoy, you know, just the keepsakes that these things hold. And so I ended up spending that money um, on her collection, um, helping her out a little bit financially where, where I could. Um, and then after that, like if I think like a month after that, my dad uh, was let go of, of his job um, at a local oil and gas company near uh, in Houston. And so when I did that, when that happened, I was like, you know, it isn't going to be me. It's not going to be who I, uh, who I am. I'm not going to be someone that gives the most precious commodity of their life to somebody else. Um, and that, and that pre most precious commodity is time. Right. And so I would say, well, I understand the money aspect of a normal job, but I don't understand the time aspect that you give to it. Right. So say uh, you take out money completely out of someone's job. They're going from nine to five working somewhere. Um, and you know, one day, you know, they work there 15, 20, 25 years. And then and someone says, all right, pack your crap and leave for me. I just think that giving 15, 20, 25 years of your life for a monetary value alone is just not, not sufficient for me. And so, uh, basically from the time I wake up every day, to the time I go to sleep every day, I enjoy finding coins, selling coins, uh, being involved with people that enjoy coins. Um, and so most, most of my work right now is just, it's not even work at all, really. It's just a part of my life that I, uh, I, I like to enjoy and, um, it requires a lot of time and it requires a lot of sacrifice, but I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for anything really, you know? So we, uh, don't have too many peace dollars in our collection, um, from between me and my brother, but we saw this peace dollar earlier or late last year, actually. Um, and we ended up wanting to keep it. Um, it's just something that uh, really is amazing. It's toned on both sides, um, and you don't find too many like it. Uh, I really like the coin, and I'm so glad that Casey was able to put it in his collection. Um, we're just building something exceptional, but uh, let's get back to the video. That's good. That's good. So I want to tie this back to uh, your website. So how do you prioritize uh, listings on your website, like things that you want to sell first before others? So basically the way it works, which ends up being, uh, what ends up being very good for us is that, and the reason why we actually did 12 sales yesterday, um, the way we prioritize things is just, we upload them, um, basically when they come in. And the reason why that's helpful is because we would make a, say a YouTube video. I made a YouTube video, uh, two days ago saying, you know, I, I bought 60 coins for $6,000. What did I get? That was the name of the YouTube video. And when someone clicked on it, they ended up watching and seeing about uh, you know about 20 of the coins on there, and so simultaneously I was uploading the 60 coins on the website, and then when that happened, right, they watched the video. They're like, "Man, that half cent looks good, dude. Man, that bust half looks great." Um, they they felt that urge to go on the website, and so as soon as they clicked on the website, all of those coins popped up right there, um, and so there's people that buy stuff later on, but. The way that it ends up helping for us is that it's basically 
created from newest to oldest on how long it's been listed on the website. Um, and then, so what happened yesterday, someone, someone said, wow, I like that coin. They clicked on the website. They ended up finding three or four more coins. They ended up buying like, you know, four or five coins off the website for that particular order. And so the way we kind of, uh, offset and kind of, you know, between the website and the YouTube channel to help the website is that we basically show people what they're getting, break it down, why it's a good coin, why we bought it. And then we, we kind of say, you know, would you enjoy this coin in your collection? That's kind of what the end question would be on a YouTube video. And then they end up saying, wow, I can go order that myself right now. And uh, when I clicked on his website, it was like one of the first things that popped up. So that's kind of how that unique pairing there really uh, brings our website to life for most people. Because then you know, after a few days, I can take the rest of the stuff down and it just leaves the stuff that uh, was on that YouTube video. And so um, that's kind of how we organize our website um, that, that ends up helping us a lot. Yeah. So your YouTube video really creates, uh, incentivizes people to check out your website and to then make the purchases. Yeah, yeah, like, so I, what I was saying, hey guys, I can't show you all 60 coins in this video, um, but they're all gonna be on our website. And they're like, people literally just clicked on my video, watched it 15 seconds and clicked on my website and and the rest was history. So yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what we do because, you know, like I said, it, instead of just me throwing a coin in your face or me clicking, you know, you, showing you a coin on eBay, instead I'm saying, you know, this is why the coin's nice. This is what uh, this coin represents to me. This is what the grade is. Um, it gives people that additional kind of benefit uh, to watching your video because they actually can understand the coin more, just that singular coin, and they can end up converting that um, and end up buying something. And then that ultimately um, gives them information when they have the coin in hand, because, uh, you know, that, that, that alone, I think gives it more of an aspect, a tangible aspect of knowledge, um, apart from just finding stuff on eBay or finding stuff, um, kind of at a flea market, people don't really, uh, know about the coin until you kind of help them. Or if they do know about the coin, they kind of want to hear your perspective. So, um, the videos can end up actually being personal branding for yourself um, instead of it just being coin branding. You can actually, you know, people start to associate the coins, the videos, um, uh, what you provide, and they end up saying that's a part of who Drew is and we trust Drew uh, with with our time and and what he thinks. So that's they end up all end up feeding into each other, which is kind of cool, you know. So your YouTube is where you're getting most of your traffic right now but your website is where you're actually making the sales. So which one are you pushing more? Are you more pushing your uh, YouTube channel or your website? So they both, they both have certain things that we have to push. I wouldn't say like I was, I'd push like a certain one or the other. Um, but I would say that if I, the, the website is downstream from the YouTube content. So say like I didn't, I didn't, I upload uh, videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday and just say like, I upload those videos so it kind of keeps people involved, keep people intrigued. Um, so I'd be pushing more of the content side uh, of my YouTube channel. So, um, you know, like the more elaborate it is, the better kind of, uh, you know, I use transitions, I use intros, I use parts of my life that I put in there as well. Um, so I have to kind of push that content side um, so people end up visiting our website. And so um, the, w the reason why we have to push the website on that side is because um, you know, say I have, I bought 500 coins in the past month and everyone's already looked through all of them. Right. And so that, that's a problem because it's like, you kind of need that blood flow on the business side of things as well. So then we would actually have to go out, um, and source coins or sell coins or, uh, all that stuff on the website is important because, uh, like I was saying earlier, you kind of need that fresh inventory to come in. Um, and so when that fresh inventory comes in, then the only thing that I do different from other dealers and other people is that I just document that stuff, right? And so, uh, but it ends up actually pulling at you from both sides sometimes because you know you have to make that content version uh, of the coins where you have to talk about them because um, you ultimately know that it'll flow down to the website, um, but also on the website, you have to make sure that you have stuff. And so, um, if we document that experience of sourcing those coins and then putting it on the website, uh, we can end up using that for our YouTube channel. Um, and then, so it's kind of almost like a triangle, right? And so um, then that, that YouTube video ends up being kind of that, 
that major uh, sales position for us in terms of uh, getting people on there and uh, having them on there three, four, five times a day, which is actually pretty interesting. We have a lot of people that are recurring on there as well. Um, and the cool thing about it too is that uh, you know I don't use any copyrighted music. I don't use uh, anything that would uh, take away from uh, YouTube uh, AdSense or what they have as a partnership program. So um, what's cool about it is that we actually get sales from coins. Uh, we get sales from people watching our videos with their with the ads. And we also have Google ads on our website too. Um, and we can exclude certain ads so we don't have like weird things pop up. We can have, you know, just certain things that might be good pairings with coins. And so we're not only getting money from just the coin aspect of the business, we're getting money from the coin aspect, uh, the monetization aspect uh, with YouTube, and also the Google ads that they put on our website. And so when you're doing uh, this kind of three, three way kind of uh, thing right here, you end up uh, getting a lot more uh, cash flow and reach than most other coin dealers do, right? Like, so, uh, like I was, the way I kind of was talking about it yesterday, it almost feels like it's passive income um, instead of uh, what you have to constantly be working at because um, no longer am I going to say, if I don't post a coin today, I'm not going to make a sale. Um, now I just say, I'm only going to kind of post on my YouTube channel, work on that maybe uh, 20 hours a week, work on sourcing maybe, you know, 10 hours a week. Um, and then that ends up being um, kind of a, a approach where it gets you three different types of cash flows rather than just that one coin sale cash flow, if that makes sense. Yeah, completely. Yeah. So uh, for your your website and uh, and your inventory, how do you usually source uh, your the coins that you have? So we source from a different a few different uh, things. We actually use I spend a lot of time on eBay. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, people actually reach out to us on our website, and then we also go to coin shows. Um, and so sometimes it really just depends on the week, right? So, um, and we actually have special clients that, that message us. Um, so our most recent video, we uh, end up, we were invited to our friend's house where we can actually pick up the coins, um, ask for a better deal on some of them that we need the margins on. Um, and then I end up handing them five, 10, you know, fifteen thousand dollars you know maybe one day in cash um, and say thank you for the coins and then i would just take them back and post them on the website and kind of use that as a video or like i said i would go to a coin show or um, i would also go on ebay um, facebook and instagram um, and i actually find coins on ebay i buy them and then i put, my, put them on my website for a little bit more but the thing about the thing the reason why that my coin business is kind of excelling excuse me, the reason why it's kind of excelling is because basically I'm saving people time. I, um, basically, if you end up saving your customer, the, the end goal of you helping your customers to save them time, um, that's the, that's going to ultimately help your business. And so what we've actually done is we when we source at all these different places, we end up getting good deals and all they have to do is click our website and buy something. And if it's for the right price, um, and they're telling you that it's a good deal with their money, um, that ends up being good. So um, I end up buying a coin on eBay, it ships and it gets here by the end of the week. Um, I post it on our website. Um, so that organic reach is very important because um, sometimes you know I can actually buy coins, um, hold it almost close to retail and sell it, rather than someone could do the same exact thing, but they can go on eBay and, and find it for 20% less. Right. So if uh, if you're making yourself aware, uh, you know, if you're having brand awareness, if you're showing yourself off in YouTube videos, giving people that extra tangible uh, advice and stuff um, and you source from all those different places, um, you know, they don't they don't have to spend extra time looking at looking up all those things, going to coin shows, doing all that stuff. They can just go, I'm going to watch a 15 minute video with Drew and I'm going to buy a coin from him. And so um, it ultimately ends up saving them time. And then also, uh, so I'm basically exchanging time with my customers that they have to spend looking for coins in exchange for money when they buy something from my site. And so um, all that's kind of important uh, when you take a look at it in the broad scheme of things. I don't know if that exactly answers your question, but that's kind of what where I was going with that when you, when you asked it initially. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really like the way you took it and talking about how and um, uh, connecting it back to uh, brand awareness. 
and uh, creating a good atmosphere for your buyers to to make purchases on. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, it's it's been it's been going very well, brother, for sure. So, uh, how do you deal with the off chance that someone is not satisfied, or there is uh, some sort of shipping mishap when uh, something happens to the package, or uh, something like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good question, um, and and most people don't actually, you know, when they're starting off, and when we were starting off, we didn't, we had a lot of the same concerns, um, but what we do now is we actually pay like $125 a year, and we use a third-party insurer um, for for most of our bigger items. So if it's a coin that's like $300 or less, uh, we don't use uh, that third-party insurer to insure that package. Um, and then if it's above that amount, we end up using priority, using uh, that, it's called ship and insure um, to insure those packages. So if anything does get lost um, in the US Postal Service, we're fully insured for that. Um, and on the return side, I, I basically have no hassle return fees at all. Like if someone says, I don't like this coin, I, I took a look at it in hand, it was, just wasn't for me. Um, I just say, okay, uh, put it in the package, return it for me. Um, and as soon as it arrives, I'll actually, uh, I'll actually just return it to you. Um, I've, I've realized that the, the less questions you ask when someone's upset, well, you ask them kind of questions that would help them uh, return the coin. But um, apart from that, you don't need to ask additional questions. You just need to say, hey, I understand. Um, the, the satisfaction of you is my number one priority. Um, the coin is not my priority. The coin is a priority as well, but it's just not the main focus. Um, and so when you start to make um, the purchase, even though it's it was not the best purchase for them, about them, um, about their satisfaction as a customer, um, it'll actually end up helping you because those people might come back and say, hey, let me try it again. Uh, let me find something else. I even do that sometimes. I say, you know, hey, what else can I uh, ship, ship you and what else can I uh, offer you instead? Um, basically find, find uh, many ways that you can solve the problem and offer it to them because uh, ultimately, it's about uh, their satisfaction at the end of the day. Yeah, and I think that's a really good business model because uh, by doing that, everyone is happy and you can uh, even have that customer come back later and buy something else from you. Yeah, I mean, and I learned that a lot from Chick-fil-A. I actually spent five years working at Chick-fil-A and uh, basically, you know, if they're missing a fry in their meal or if they were like, you know, if something happened like that, it was just... There was just no question or say someone actually get the, got their fry right and uh they came through the drive through and said you know i didn't get my fry this and that like sometimes you know uh you end up giving even though it hurt you know giving back you know, you only know that it might hurt you um like the way chick-fil-a did it was just didn't even ask any questions you know we uh made a lot we made a lot of money and we did a lot of good things and uh the way that we ultimately helped ourselves with customer service was just not asking any questions that would offend somebody like just just saying we're completely at fault we need to take care of it because the you know the ultimate end goal is just to have them come back and uh kind of believe in our product if that makes sense yeah um so that's actually all i have uh lined up for you today awesome kevin well appreciate you uh interviewing me and uh i hope this helps uh you know your project and your class and uh you know i think that uh you got a lot of good things going for you brother yeah thank you so much for giving me this opportunity hey it's my pleasure i'll uh have a great night and i'll uh you know maybe see you on a, a youtube video one day that'd be cool <laughs> maybe we hope you guys enjoyed today's video uh we want you to have a merry christmas and a happy new year um, we're also praying for you and your families. Uh, there's a lot of great things going on uh, right now, and we couldn't be more excited about it. Um, if you guys uh, want to see more from us, make sure to subscribe, like the video so you reach new, more new mispotists, and uh, comment any questions that you might have down below. Uh, without further ado, uh, have a great week. We'll see you in the next video.